Okay, dear student, let's see what is there in this question. A photoelectric cell is connected in series with a battery of 2 volt. The photons of which is 6 EV are incident on the cathode of the photoelectric cell. The work function is given as 3 EV. So the photon which is coming is 6 EV and the function is 3 EV. So one thing is clear that the photoelectron which they would be coming out of it, the maximum possible kinetic energy that the electrons can have it will be 6 minus 3, that is 3 electron volt. Okay, so what is the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron that reach the anode? Okay, that reach the anode because there is a stopping potential uh, attached here. So you can see this end is negative, this end is positive. So this is negative, this is positive, that is why they're calling it cathode. Cathode is positive, anode is negative. So this is positive and negative. Now, obviously, when the electron coming here the initially the maximum kinetic energy that the electron can have is three electron volt so that electron will be moving across this it will be going from the positive end that is cathode to the anode but meanwhile it will be losing some kinetic energy why because it is constantly getting repelled by the anode so it has to work against the potential barrier there so it will be losing some energy now what will be the loss of energy Stopping potential is 2, so clearly the work done against the stopping potential like Q is equal to delta V, that will be given by E2. It is only 2 EV in the terms of voltage. It will be 2 EV energy that has to be wasted. So this much of the work will be done against the potential. See, okay, this, this formula is not using the negative sign there. I am just talking in the terms of magnitude, so you can even use a here not to get confused okay in some other question so Q work is equal to this so 2 ev is used against the stopping potential out of 3 ev only 1 ev is left so when electron is going to strike the plate the kinetic energy max possible value for the electrons when hit the anode that will be equal to 1 ev hence the answer will be a let's see if the answer is a or not absolutely correct the answer is a this is how we do this. I believe this is pretty clear now. If there is any other doubt, you can talk in the comment section. Okay, dear students, thanks for watching. Please join the YouTube channel. This is Professor Varun. All the best. Bye.